Hello friends and allies and welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna talk about charm hunting on a new character. My character is rank 47 on the new server Versa and I have done a couple of charm points on this character. I am actually ranking top 1 on charm hunting and I received around 1200 charm points after the server has existed for 1 month and still taken 180 levels. And if you would like to, you can just check this channel and you have in total 42 videos of different areas for charm hunting, uh, both for rapid respawn and without it. But people have asked me to make this video specifically just to go over the charms I have done as starter charms, the beginning charms for a new character. And remember that this character was level 1 one month ago, so I have needed to level the character meanwhile. So some of the charms are not the most efficient ones, but they were needed to either gain in levels or in money. And sometimes it was a combination of charm, money or experience, but let's start. So on the picture on the left and right, you can see the charms which I have finished. And as you can see in the picture in the middle, you can see that people are pretty bad at charm hunting actually. So let's start with the easiest charms, which I have done. A good start for a charm hunter is to find the creatures which you only need to kill 5 of to gain a pretty good amount of charm points. So here you have wild horses, uh, foreign fire and crystal wolf, the different kind of servants, the water buffalo and the goblin leader. By killing the wild horses you will gain 10 charm points, the wolves 100, goblin leader 30, water buffalo 30 and the different kind of servants 130 charm points. And this is 300 charm points in total, so you're in a good start for your first charm after doing this quick charm points. So, as you probably understand, we want to make the easy charms now in the beginning, the quick ones. And if you're lucky enough, you might be catching the raid of troll guards, which is 30 charm points if you find them in Carlin. And I haven't yet found the Pale Count raid or the Draftor, but that are raids which I'm looking forward to be doing, so you should do them as well if you have the opportunity. So in total we have so far finished 57 charm creatures in one month, so that's pretty much two creatures a day. So where should we be heading next? Because we also want to be efficient in our charm hunting, because we both want experience and quick charms. And when I talk about efficiency, I primarily mean an area which exists, which have one unique monster and all the rest of them is just bonuses. Just look at the factory quarter in Jalahar. You have dog, cat, seagull, pig, rabbit, badger, rat, snake, spider, bug, poison spider, crab, centipede, crazy beggar, goblin scavenger, larva, smuggler, amazon, bandit, gang member, poacher. And you have the damaged worker golems. And they only exist in the factory quarter. So all other creatures are bonus. So an area like this, you will only finish the damaged worker golem. My best tips when it comes to charm hunting is that you only focus on unique creatures which only exist in that particular area. And all the creatures around it will just be bonuses. So which charms have I been focusing? Well, either it's a good combination of all three of them experience, cash and charm, or it need to be crazily high in either experience or cash or charm. Um, so the area which I have went for is the following. 
Unfortunately, I do not have videos of each area, so I'd rather be describing them. Uh, so the area which I have went for is Mini Russia in uh, Feirist. Here you will gain plenty of profit while still doing an unique charm which will give you 50 charm points. And other option is also Korims in the lower level ranges. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't finished the hardest one yet. That will be the plan for the next rapid respawn to go on the lower floors and finish the last Korim. I also went for Mother of Scarab Slayer. Uh, here you will hunt larvas in the early levels and when you go down to the lowest floors you will have both um, Ancient Scarabs, Bone Beast and Scarabs. And at the moment um, I have done a couple of charms in the Oramond West Raid with friends. Here is plenty of monsters with the Quaras. Uh, in the Peninsula Tomb you will lose Stalkers and um, Ghost. Edron Tomb you will finish the rest of Goal and Skeleton. Hero Cape you will combine with Carlin Cults. So here you will finish Hero and Vicious Squire. Dwarks you will finish 45 charm points. Uh, foreigner Quarters you can do without Rapid by combining Elf and Minos. And when it comes to the Underground Gloof Factory you will finish 50 unique charm points with Profit. In Laguna Island I did some turtles and some blood crabs to gain some imbi items for the vampires. The fire dragon dojo is 25 charm points and I hope to get an Saon helmet. Shadowforn is for the wolf factory recorder I just went through. And near the Thais troll cave you will gain some wild horse. And in Vengoth you will gain... Um, what's the creature there? Damn! Uh, it's the scorpion and um, the Vengoth creature. Yeah, let's go for that one. I might have missed a few creatures. Um, one of them is for example the Bog Raiders or the Metal Gargoyles, which I did during uh, daily boosted creatures, which I wouldn't have done without the daily boosted. So this is some char extra charm points which I haven't mentioned, and I most likely have missed a few charm points along the way as well. But anyways, this is the charms which I have done so far. Uh, I believe I have st started pretty good actually. Uh, it's a good start, but we need to move forward. Um, and I have started with charms Dodge and Wound this time. And the reason for that is rather simple, and that is that both uh, Dodge and um, Wound I will be using uh, for a very long time. I will have Dodge in um, Asuras for that instance, but I already need it in Mini Russia because the weakened Frasimo is hitting so hard. So Dodge was a necessity. And when it comes to Lizard Chosen, it could be nice to put on some wound as well in an area like this when it comes to money making. And I will also be using wound on one creatures in the beginning in Asuras or any other area. Since I'm a paladin, I will always be using physical anyways, so wound can't be hurting really. Anyways, this was my first charms on a new character. I wish you the best and I will see you guys in the next video.